Okay, let us continue this investigation into gravity to understand what gravity is, its fundamental nature and cause. We must start by examining the fundamental nature of the universe itself. We know that gravity is seen as an attractive force, and this acts between particles simply because they have mass, as postulated by Isaac Newton. So between any two masses we see an attractive force. What we actually see is an acceleration of the masses towards each other. By Newton's second law, an acceleration of a mass is caused by a force, and the magnitude of this force is simply its mass times its acceleration. So the mass accelerates in the direction of this force. We can calculate that acceleration by dividing the force by the mass. But for a mass in free fall, Newton saw the acceleration of a mass particle downwards towards the earth, therefore he saw it as a force, what he called the force of gravity. So simply because that this mass was accelerating, he described this as the force of gravity. So we are using evidence of acceleration in free fall as the evidence that gravity is a force. But in fact we observe gravity as an acceleration which we only presume to be caused by a force which we call gravity. So what we're really seeing is the mass accelerating. So is gravity driven by a force? According to Newton the answer of course is yes, but according to Einstein it is simply an acceleration caused by the curvature of the space-time geometric or space-time vacuum. By Einstein we know that any particle with a mass curves the fabric of space-time and that this curvature of space-time produces an acceleration of the object placed in the geometric warped space-time. So where there's no gravity, space-time appears flat and objects do not move. Place a mass in the space-time fabric and that causes a curvature and this increase in curvature causes an acceleration. Another aspect of gravity realized by Einstein is that gravity acts at the speed of light. And this acts through the vacuum of empty space. So if we take the Sun and the Earth in its orbit is kept in its orbit by this force of gravity. If the Sun did not exist suddenly, then the Earth would continue in its orbit for just over eight minutes before flying off into space in this direction. From this little investigation we were left with clues as to the nature of gravity. First we'll be talking about acceleration, fundamental change in the curvature of space-time or in the fabric of space-time and we're also talking about the speed of light. It seems therefore in order to understand gravity we must investigate the fundamental nature of the following concepts particle mass, acceleration, vacuum of empty space, the speed of light and time which is a component of acceleration. Let us start with the last of these concepts, time itself.